Yeah, Mom, I want to say. Alright, y'all. What are we doing? Carol for the day. What do I need to do today? What card do you think I'm going to get, Gabe? <laughs> what card have I repeatedly been getting almost every day? Gabe. Gabe, I'm asking you a question. Stubbornness. 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 Oh, stubbornness. I've been getting that card repeatedly. <laughs> so we'll see no. if I'm doing good. No. Mom was telling me I was being stubborn last night. Devotion to service. My first card. I've never had that one before, so let's see. What do I need to know today? What do I need to remember today? What do I need to know? That's too many. What do I need to know today? What do I need to remember today? Hmm? Mm -hmm. that and look at that. I also made this. Hmm. What do I need to know? What do I need to remember for today? Pulse of Life. I've been getting this one a lot lately, too. That one keeps coming up in um, my readings for myself. Ah, too many. What do I need to know? That one just came out. Um, unfinished business. I've never had that card yet. Last card. Last thing I need to know. Gabriel, why would you do that? That's not funny. That's really not funny at all. I thought one would come out. No. Alright, last card. Why are you making this video with me? Sure, do it. Um, they're just gonna ruin it. Do you want me to do your card? No. I'm just gonna ruin it. You can do your card. Yeah. Do that. You want me to pull some cards for you? Yeah. What do I need to know? I can't just can't remember. For today, this week. Last card, last card. Might be done. Maybe I don't need any more today. I guess we pulled all four though, but we'll see. Oh, last one. Conservative attachments. I've never had this one before. Alright, so let's read. First one, number 64, Devotion to Service. Mm. A deep transformation takes place within when you devote your actions to service. This does not mean self-sacrifice. However, if you are already being of service to others, know that this calling is one you have felt for many lifetimes. If you feel you are not yet being of service, this is a message to start soon. Remember, being of service begins with small things. A smile on the street or sending love from your heart. Hear that, Gabe? Number two, Pulse of Life. This one has been coming up a lot in my readings. So that's good. Like a great galactic clock, the galaxy's core calibrates the rhythm of the evolution of consciousness through its wave emissions. Um, this is the card of trust. You cannot rush this evolution. Let go and allow the universe to work for you. Um, It's acknowledging your innate connection to this galactic pulse or it is encouraging you to begin developing it. When you do this, the cosmic plan unfolds within you and it becomes much easier to connect with your higher self and flow with the natural current of your life instead of trying to manipulate events with the ego personality. So this one I feel like I actually am getting pretty connected. Doing better. So that's good. Um, these ones are... I mean, there's no... That's the thing I do need to learn, it's no good or bad. But, let's see, 59. The 
Ancient Syrians believe that they left some things unfinished. Mostly this has to do with the evolution of the human race. Many of these ancient beings have incarnated as humans now in order to complete the tasks they feel were left undone. Other serious beings are helped from these unseen realms. If you feel that you have unfinished business in your life or a nagging feeling that you are supposed to do something, pay attention to what it is teaching you about self-acceptance. The lesson is that you are complete in every moment. If you were supposed to do something, then it would be done. I love that. If you were supposed to be doing something, it will be done. So, my lagginess is okay. 51. When it is a time of transformation, it is natural to feel change. There is an illusionary feeling of safety in the familiar, even if the familiar is dysfunct dysfunctional and no longer serves you. Take a look at your life now. What are you clinging to that is old and familiar? It is time for an inventory. When you clean out the old, you make space for the new. The karmic pattern of fearing change is one that must be healed at this time. When you resist change, it is often forced upon you. You can circumvent this by taking small steps toward change, which eventually lead to great strides. Start now. So that's great. That actually has a lot to do with what's going on with me right now. So it's perfect. What's going on with you? Um, me leaving, um, work. yeah, work to start a new job. Now we move to the energy that is playing out on Earth in the present time stream. This is an ex expression of polarity that takes the form, form of fear of change, being too attached to the old stagnant ways, and that of trying to force change before it's time on the other side. This card represents a strong, a strong attachment to old, safe way of doing things that stop the energy of change. Change is an energy that can never be stopped. When it's time for change, it is necessary for us to acknowledge the situation without resistance and follow the guidance and flow of energy toward the right action for time. It means looking at our fears and transcending them. It requires truthfully looking at our circumstances, seeing beyond our own filters, beliefs, and fears, and taking right action. There's an old Asian saying that says something like, unless we change directions, we are likely to end up where we are headed. If this card came up in your reading, it is most likely warning you that you may be too attached to an old thought pattern, habit, or way of doing things. Take some life to look at yourself honestly and identify what needs changing in your life, then begin to make to work to make those changes. You're too, too attached to an old thought pattern, habit, a way of doing things. Got it. Okay. That's our reading for today. Devotion of service, pulse of life, unfinished business, conservative attachment. Okay. I need to read this one too. Just for a little bit more. I didn't read it all. Ultimately, when Earth society views others as extensions of the self and sees that in reality everyone is really one anyway, this energy of love and service infuses all aspects of life. The Pleiadians made a profound transition from being self-centered in their very, very ancient young days to bring a species devoted to service in all that they do. This is a potential that exists for Earth's humans as well. Take a look at your life to see how you too can begin to view reality as it needs to be of service to the universe and where that shift in perception takes you. To be in service to the universe. That's great. I think that's wonderful. All right.